Go ahead and deep and the side here, side Rightly this day, and they're not a frown on anyone. They could if you love me, day to day. Oh, if I love me, day to day. The sun is shining brightly in the sky today, and there's not a frown on sight. And I am very happy and lovely day to day. We go ahead and deep. And the sun is shining brightly this day. The town of Stockton Bay. We have happened in this town, and only the people that live in this town knew about it. It was a pretty awesome day. The sun was shining brightly that day. It was a pretty nice day. David basically got out like usual, and he heard a knock on his door, so he said to him for it. David said, hi Holly, how are you doing? Holly said, I'm doing fine. David said, what do you want? Holly said, our friend is here, they want to do something with them. David says, or I will do something with them. Later that day, they said they had a nice idea to go for a walk, so they said they would go for a walk. The lady said to David, do you want to buy a doll? David said, I'm a boy, what am I supposed to do with a doll? The lady said, these are magical dolls, these are moon dolls. And they can bring a happiness in your life. David said, okay, how much are they? The lady said, they're a doll at you. David said, okay, I'll buy one. When they came back from their walking, they hanged out in David's room for a bit, but basically came time for them to go back home. So they say goodbye to David and then head back home. Basically, daytime turned to nighttime and it was nighttime. David was allowed to walk to help with him, but basically came to a point where he had to go to bed. So they said goodnight to his mom and he went off to bed like a good little boy. Basically, when David was sleeping, he had the weirdest dream. He had a dream that he was on the moon, and he had a doll with him. David said hi to the girl. The girl said, hi David, how are you doing? David said, I'm doing okay. The girl said, I'm the girl that on the moon. I want my doll back. David said, okay, I'll give you back your doll. That's what you want. The girl said, thank you for returning the doll back to me. It means the world to me. David said, okay, can I go back home? Can I go back to where I live? The girl said, it's not that simple. David said, what are you talking about? I bought you your doll and I want to go back. The girl said, you have to look for a door over where the mountain are. They said, okay. He basically came to a cave. With this, the cave would lead to the door back to where he lived. He said he would go into the cave. Basically it happened, the thing turned into a door. David said, is this the door back to home? He bought that through and he said it would have to be, so he's going to go to that door. It was the next day, and like usual, David got out and got dressed. But he noticed that the doll was gone. What that do he had real? It would have been because the doll was gone. He did not know. David said, hi Holly, what do you want? 
Holly said, We have been invited over to Jinghouse. Do you want to come? Yes, sir. Why not? Let's go to Jinghouse. Rightly this day, and there's not a frown on anyone. Say good if you love me day today. Oh, it's a lovely day today. The sun is shining brightly in the sky today, and there's not a frown on sight. And I am very happy.